currently on the train to Nice. So excited guys, it was such a struggle. Do not bring multiple luggages. Like if you are traveling city to city, especially on train, but even on a flight, just like bring one suitcase because it was literally hell walking through that train station. Like I don't even want to think about getting off this train right now. We had like a full ass workout at like 6 a.m. going down five flights of stairs with our luggage. Are you gonna eat macarons? Yeah, hungry. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> there's only one left. Seriously? Don't tell me that's rose. Okay, you gotta do a taste test for us then. What is it? Yogurt, yogurt, that's the flavor. It literally tastes like strawberry yogurt. Gum. Wow, look at the ceiling. Literally just got here and I am obsessed with this place. Everything is so cute. Like, you're kidding, this is my bedroom? This, so adorable. I cannot see the balcony. <laughs> so cute. <gasps> is this real? Or is this a postcard? I already know I never want to leave. I look so bad. You guys don't know what we just went through. I feel like I'm not even ready to tell you yet because I'm so freaking tired. Gonna freshen up and then we'll get to actually exploring. <laughs> We're out here, knees. Oh my god, my butt. Thank you. Okay, wait. Bijan got so strong because he's been lugging broken suitcases around the streets. You guys don't even understand the struggle we've been through. It's too much. Like, let's just say wheels have popped off suitcases. We have one too many, two too many. But we're here now, and this Airbnb, honestly, is just so much better. But yeah, anyways, we're here. There's AC, thank God. There's an elevator, thank God. What else is there? There's a balcony, thank God. I just love it here, and I think I don't want to leave. I am literally in awe of everything here. Like, obsessed. Just look at my view in front of me. That alone is so pretty. I need gelato immediately. So first we need to eat because we haven't eaten since yesterday once again. Apparently on this trip we just don't feed ourselves, but I'm excited to eat some good food. And look at these streets, like, so cute. I'd love some protein. Okay. There's M&M's. I think it's gummy. Me, what is this one? The one with the colorful dots in it? It's called candy. Chewing one sounds good. Okay. Chewing gum? There are so many options for ice cream. We just gotta get it every day. Yeah, we're gonna get it every day. What's the other one you got? Is that weird? No, Mandarin and chewing gum? That's not weird at all. Wow, that's so amazing. All right, so I got the cutest apron for Kiana since she did baking on her TikTok. I agree with Chef Kiki on it. And I think there's so much good food everywhere and I'm just excited to eat. We're getting pizza right now and potentially an Aperol Spritz. Forget if I like it or not. Last time we hated it, but everybody drinks it, so I'm trying to see what the hype is about. Aperol Spritz. I'm kind of nervous. How is it? I can't tell if you like it. It's like I want to like it. But do you not? No? Okay, let me try. I didn't like it last time. It's a little bitter, right? Bitter, right? <laughs> it's not strong, it's just bitter. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It could grow on you. Should we get another one? My hair is super poofy, but it's the perfect opportunity to introduce you guys to today's video sponsor, Tymo. Today, I'm gonna straighten my hair with the Tymo ring. This is an innovative hair straightener that combines the concept of a brush and a straightener in one, saving you tons of time when you straighten your hair. And this is gonna be my first impression of it. When you open the box, you get the straightener, you get the little travel pouch, you have the heat protecting glove, the hair detangler, and the two little hair clips. Okay, let's turn it on. I'm gonna turn it up all the way. I'm gonna detangle my hair first. The claim is that this straightener straightens your hair in one pass, which is kind of crazy because even with the hottest straightener, I need to go over it multiple times to get a smooth finish. So I'm really excited to see if it lives up to its claims. Okay, it's heated up. So let's give this its first shot. I'm just gonna brush it through. 
Wait, that worked so good. Okay, that actually worked really well and it was only one pass. So I guess the claim stands true. It's so soft and silky. Wait, why did that work so good? You can see the clear difference between these two pieces. This one's super frizzy and poofy while this one is silky and smooth. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do this side of my hair and I'll be right back. I'm not gonna lie guys, that was probably the quickest I've ever straightened my hair. Not even because this is sponsored. It's just genuinely a fact. Look at this side compared to this side and I have pretty thick hair. So the fact that that genuinely took less than five minutes and I was just using it for the first time so I was just learning is insane. The straightener claims that it saves 50% of hair styling time and I genuinely believe that. If you take a look at these bristles, they have an anti-scald design which prevents you from burning yourself at your roots. You can go right up to the roots and not have a problem. You guys could see me do this in real time and be shocked at the speed and I truly believe because you're not doing as many passes it doesn't damage it as much as a regular straightener would. The ease of use with this is truly its best feature. Like look how it simply takes this piece of frizzy hair, makes it straight in one pass. Another thing I love about this strainer is that it has international voltage. So wherever you're traveling, you can use it. Guys, look how straight and silky. That literally took 10 minutes. As you can see, my hair is super straight and it was super convenient. So I'm definitely gonna be taking this with me on my trips because it is so fast and so convenient to use, especially on the go and with its international voltage. But yeah, without further ado, let's get back to the video. Okay, we just had a beautiful meal. And now we're just checking out the beach. The water is so blue. I'm ready for my second gelato of the day. Or I can have a crate. If you can't tell, I'm a foodie. Maybe I should be a whiny though, because I haven't been drinking. What the? Why are you going around me, man? Look, good. people are playing guitar. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of cold. Bijan, you're gonna be mad. You're mad that I'm cold because you are hot for so long. I don't know, what are we gonna do for the rest of the night? He's shrugging his shoulders. Should we watch The Idol? Should we watch that? I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I thought it was really intense, but. It is what it is. I'm an influencer, but I get so influenced because I literally saw that we were watching it and actually liking it on TikTok. So I'm like, should I watch? Should we get in the doom buggies? Just kidding, they're tuk tuks, but you know what I mean. Why can't they put this sand all over? It looks like perfect sand to me. These gorillas are a monument of these friends, and we're on the hunt to find every single one. We see one on top of the mountain. Going to get her, or him, <laughs> or they. <laughs> but I'm saying the only reason I want to head towards the house is because I'm cold. You want to miss out on all My cold girls get it, okay? <laughs> Guess what we found? What should we name him? A lot of names, so you're gonna have to help. That's your monkey. What? Sassy Monkey. His name is actually Richard. I might get the same one as you. But a second gelato of the day. I want rice pudding or or amarino, but like rice pudding just seems like it hits after like. Did it have grainy rice? Is in it? Do you guys have Tinder? Okay. <laughs> it has rice chunks in it, but it's good. Too <laughs> eighty for a small bag of chips. This is like really like. I eat this so fast, it's too soft. Little market here. Okay, so we're just walking around, trying to figure out what to do for the rest of the night. We were trying to decide if we should go sleep because we haven't slept much and we need to get up early for the beach tomorrow because we're trying to like take the train somewhere else. This is my point. <laughs> Welcome to Disney Channel. But we're just gonna walk around because you can't go home when everyone's out like this. But there's a cute little market. So let's go check it out. They're really cool. 
You got a little like lock in it. A gem. One red, one green. Two. Two red. That's good. Okay, seven to your room. Good night, kids. We'll see you at the beach tomorrow. We're gonna have a very aesthetic day. Bikinis and peaches. Good morning! Second day in Nice. Unfortunately, it's a little bit overcast, but it actually doesn't look that bad. Um, we're gonna head to the market right now, grab some fruit, some sandwiches, some materials so we don't have to leave the beach, and then we're gonna go to the cutest beach. I hope it's not too busy because we accidentally slept in. Unfortunately, we woke up at 9.45, and I don't know why I had such a hard time getting ready today. So it's 11... 19, not that bad. So, let's go. Hey, there's so much fruit. I love fruit. Okay, wait, should we get cherries? Mm. Can you start down there? The watermelon is fine. <laughs> but how are we gonna cut a watermelon? I'll give it to you, like, sliced up. Oh, really? It's a different story then. Hello. Ça va? Allez, on se sert. Monsieur Dame. Taille de la melon. This watermelon is so good. You can get like a little mixture of fruit here. It's like 350 and there's some stuff in it. Or you can get like a little thing of cherries. What do you feeling? I feel like it smells really like party. I wish it was a crepe. But we have to try it. Chickpea flower. Chickpea flower. Thank you. Merci. I need free hands for this shit. Taste test. It's hot. It's good. It's just like... I don't even know how to explain. I, it's savory. It's healthy. It's really good actually. It's like someone pan fried a pancake. But like really thin. But not a crepe. It's really hard to explain. Just try it. Fruit secured. I need to be in the water right now. Let's go swim. So we just came from the beach. I'm gonna put all the names on the screen because I literally don't know how to say them. But we just stopped at this recommended restaurant. It's called Lou Bantry. And I got mussels, finally. I've been wanting these the whole time. And I'm so excited. I got like the cream white wine shallot sauce and then fries. And it's not? Yes, thank you so much. Oh, can you have a side plate? I got a mojito, but it's not sour enough for me. So mixing some onion juice. Hello, hello. Today we're going to Monaco and we're gonna go to the Casino Royale. And that's why I'm dressed up because I don't know whether to dress for night or day. So we're dressing for night, but whatever. Went and took some content for a brand deal this morning. I don't know if it worked out. I feel like every other piece of content works out. The one I'm getting paid for, it doesn't work out. So we might have to reshoot, but we'll figure that out tomorrow. This is the fit. I'm pretty sure this is Mistress Rocks, if I remember correctly. Today we have officially taken 500 years to leave the house. Bijan just went back up to get his sunglasses. But this is the fit. Sure, let's go in. Walking to Monte Carlo. I have no idea where we're going, so I guess we're just gonna have to see. You guys see my new whip right here in the bedroom? Jeez, that's how you're that. coming, I huh? Just added it to my collection. That's how you're coming, huh, Kim? Little Kim, huh? Jeez. Yeah. 
Bon petit jus là, orange, pamplemousse, ananas. Thank you. Bonjour mes amis. <laughs> I'm basically French now since I've been here for like two weeks. Again, again, we slept in, so we're just gonna go to the beach here in these city because I don't want to miss the sun. So yeah, we're gonna head down there. We got sandwiches, we got a little cheese and salami. Uh, what else did we get? We got cherries. We're like prepared to stay here for a while. I feel so bougie and rich with this hat. Like, Let's do a little fit check. Yeah, okay. Yeah. A little fit check. Yeah. This is the fit. We got the 437 dress on, the 437 bikini on. Um, thrifted Aldo flip flops, thrifted belt from Poshmark, hat thrifted, and yeah, that's it. Ew, earrings. I don't know what brand these earrings are from. I forget, but they're just like gold hoops. But yeah, a little. Pro tip, if you want to feel bougie, just wear a hat and like it's all done, it's over. So anyways, let's go to the beach.